A shocking arrest as several Florida agencies investigate a horrifying gunpoint carjacking that was caught on camera. It's believed the white SUV was burned with that woman who was driving still inside of it. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Tonight, an Orange County Sheriff's deputy is the first person to face charges in connection to this case. News 6's Treasure Roberts joins us now live in studio in Treasure. What is that deputy accused of doing? Well, Ginger, Matt, there are a lot of moving parts in this investigation, and we just learned today that an Orange County deputy may have tried to interfere. The Seminole County Sheriff breaks down what they uncovered. An Orange County deputy was arrested by the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. That deputy is Francisco Estrella. He was cuffed and charged with five felonies Sunday night after detectives found he was in communication with the husband of Catherine Aguas Vivas. The woman Seminole County deputies say was carjacked last week, who is now presumed dead. Her husband, Miguel Aguas Vivas, and brother agreed to drive up from their South Florida home to speak with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. As they were traveling up here to Seminole County, uh, Miguel and Lewis reached out to a mutual friend, a childhood friend as it's described, who happens to be the Orange County deputy's wife. The deputy uh, then picks up the phone, uh, calls our detective and gives a false name and identifies himself as a detective with the Orange County Sheriff's Office wanting to get information about this case. In addition to that, uh, we knew that the Orange County deputy and wife uh, accessed illegally uh, the Florida David system and pulled, pulled up the unique characteristics, home address, photographs, signatures, of our primary detective working the case and all of the communication between the Orange County deputy uh, and our detective working the case was then recorded, all communicated back uh, to the decedent's husband uh, who was on his way here. Seminole County detectives found out about this after forensically examining Miguel's phone once he arrived at the sheriff's office. I don't know that any of us will want our names and our home addresses released, especially if we had a responsibility to enforce and hold the, the violators of this accountable. Sheriff Lima also shared more today about this green car. It's the car that was seen ramming the vehicle Catherine Aguas Vivas was driving when she was carjacked. He said the 2002 Acura is rare. There were only three in the state of Florida and the two others have been salvaged. The sheriff says in March, this car was towed from an Orange County apartment complex. About one month later, Orange County deputies say a vehicle matching its description was seen at the scene of a shooting in Taft. That happened late on the night of April 10th. Turns out the person who was shot to death in Taft that night was the tow truck driver who towed the green Acura back in March. And on April 11th, less than 24 hours after the Taft shooting, Catherine Aguas Vivas was carjacked in Seminole County. And on Saturday, the Acura was found abandoned at an Orange County apartment complex and again towed, then taken to the sheriff's office to be processed. Ginger. Just a bizarre series of incidents. Treasure, thank you.